Okay, to get started with creating our document template, the first thing we need to do is create a project. So I'm going to go here and create a new project. And here, I'm going to call this my uh, inch template. Why not? You can call it anything you want here. It doesn't matter. Now the first thing that I'd like to do is I'm going to go into my templates folder within my project manager. We'll extend that a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and create a template. I'm going to start by creating a part template. And I'm going to use a blank template here. And in my part template, I'm just going to call this, uh, oh, you know what, let's call this aluminum. Aluminum part. Okay. And we'll do a couple things here. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up this. And I'm going to go to my options. And I want to make sure, and just so you know, you can redock this anywhere you want. Uh, I'm going to go to my modeling, oh, not my operations, up here, my general, and go to units. I'm going to right click and choose edit. And here I can just make sure it's set the way you want. I'm in inches, square inches, how do I want mass calculated, how do I want uh, kinematics calculated, so forth, so on. Okay? Once that's set the way you want, and once you have your dimensioning, Tolerance is set the way you want, so maybe I want 4 by 2 for my decimal precision here. I'm going to go ahead and close my options, and I'm going to open up my search bar down here. And I'm going to turn off Family, and I'm going to go find Material. Say OK. And now I'm going to look visually, let it regenerate. And if you want to make this even a little easier, to see, because you have lots of materials in here, you can start typing a few letters of what you're looking for. I just want everything that's aluminum related. So I'm going to use this aluminum and drag and drop it in here. So now any part defined using this aluminum part template will be defined as this grade of aluminum. Okay? From there, I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And I'll close it. Now, I'm going to repeat this as needed for draft files, assembly files, machining files, whatever you want. Okay? So, for example, if I go and say I'd like a new draft file, I can look through all of the standard ones supplied by uh, Missler Software. So, here I'll go to uh, ANSI, how about A Landscape. And I'm just going to say OK here. And, you know, I'm just going to call this a horizontal. For now, I'm going to accept the default title block that comes in. And we'll save this and close it. Now, I'm going to say that I'd also like the a horizontal to be my default drawing that I want to use anytime I create a draft document. Okay? And from there, I'm going to go ahead and check in this little project. Now that it's checked in, all I have to do is right click on it, go down to others here. Let me go ahead and drag this out a little bit. It's going off my other screen here. If I go down to others, I can say add to templates. And you can just put it right in my templates. And now this becomes a template project. Okay, so if I close this and I go and create a new project, Oops, pardon me, I went to the project manager. If I go to the project here, I can say that I would like a new project here, but I want to use my inch template. And now if I use my inch template here, this is what happens. We have new project, and in there is my aluminum part definition, as well as my A horizontal. And what does this all mean? If I go here and say new part, I can choose my aluminum part template and define my part. So if I go here just quickly, and define a part. That's perfect. If I go to parameters, you can see the material is aluminum, in fact. And now from here, if I say I'd like to create a draft file from this, it's going to grab my default draft document automatically. And I can just go ahead and say I want that shaded, I'd like it this way, and put my three views together. So that's how you can create a document 
template or a project template that contains the templates you want to work with.